Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer, and we are doing the August spreads for each sign. So, we're starting with Aries. Let's see what's going on for Aries in the month of August. And remember the Law of Attraction meditation uh, goal thing that we're doing, challenge, is that August will be the best month of our lives. So just keep that in mind, regardless of where you are in your life. All right, let's see what we got going on here for Aries. Well, Aries, it looks like you have a little bit of concern here around money. First, you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, which means you may not be feeling stable or you might be feeling a little bit stingy, maybe even a little bit cheap. <laughs> then you have the Nine of Pe um, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So basically, you're feeling a little bit worried about money or you're afraid that you may not have enough. Maybe the summer has been a little bit more expensive. You're feeling a little bit pessimistic. You're only seeing two of the cups as being full and three of them as being spilt over. And then you've got the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So basically here, it, it's almost like I want to say to you, uh, change your attitude because the situation isn't as bad as it seems. It doesn't really seem like this reading here is about love. It seems more like it's about money. And I'm feeling like maybe the summer has been a little bit more expensive than you had hoped it would be. Maybe things came up that were a little bit more costly. But I don't like to leave the reading like this. So I'm going to pull three more cards just to see if we can get any more clarity. It looks like expenses. It doesn't look like job loss or anything like that. It looks like expenses have come up. King of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit and the Chariot. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like there is some kind of a money issue around or you're a little bit concerned about money these days. The Hermit is usually removing yourself from the situation bringing yourself into isolation for contemplation, or it could also be a Virgo, if you have a Virgo helping you out. The chariot could be a Cancer help, helping you out. Or it could be that once you get past the summer, the expenses start to recede and things move forward, because the chariot could also be moving forward. So basically, I don't think that you have much to worry about money-wise, Aries, but I do think that it's something that's in the back of your mind that you're a little bit concerned with. Don't worry about it because I think once we get past the summer and things start to regulate themselves, we get back into our normal routine, things will go back to normal for you. All right, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.